Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming, or just want to watch a 21 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Do I have one heck of a video for you guys? You guys are in luck. Okay. I have one heck of a video for you guys, like I said, but you need to bear with me here. Just listen to me for just a second. So I ended up making YouTube videos, well, private YouTube videos to myself, about a year before I started my YouTube channel. They were terrible because, well, frankly, I didn't know how to film in full screen, so I was filming straight up and down. I'm not talking to the camera half the time, so you can hardly understand what I'm saying. And I didn't take any accountants for wind, so you hear a lot of <laughs> Cornstar Farms has been known for being an absolute junkyard for my entire life. That's what we're kind of known for in our neighborhood, is having a super messy farm. It drives me up the wall. Last spring, my grandfather had brain cancer and he knew he didn't have much time. And so he passed the farm over to us and he told us, you know what guys? The farm is a reflection of you guys now, so I want it to reflect you. So that gave me permission to start cleaning things up. I wanted to be able to show my future kids down the road what the farm looked like back when I was young so I started kind of documenting things and well, I wasn't gonna come out with this video because well, it, it's not very good production quality, but I was looking through all of my old clips and I was like, you know what? I can't just show them in the middle of cleaning everything up because you won't appreciate how far it's came. You guys are gonna get a watch, Cole the Corn Star from 2017 and 2018. It's came a long way. So this is gonna be a prelude to everything I've done this year. This is gonna be a multiple part series we're gonna have what I did last year, what I'm doing now, and then what I'm gonna be doing in a couple weeks. I've done enough talking already. Let's get into the video. I'm gonna apologize really quick. The audio, like I said, is horrible and I'm filming sideways, but don't worry guys, stay tuned for more because they're all gonna be in full screen just like I am right now. It's just back then I was being a rookie. You, you know how it goes. Okay, let's get to it. Ooh, it's hot out today. So today I'm loading up some tin. I'm trying to get the south side of our big machine shed done so it's all clean. I'm tired of looking at all the junk over there. It'll be a little bit of project. All right, here's the plan today. All this junk behind me and what I'm standing on. And over here, this all cleaned up. It's gonna take a little while, but we'll get to it. All right, well, it's been a pretty decent day. I loaded that basically all by hand. I got the one spot cleaned up for the most part. I just got a real little bit left, but enough to make it do for now. So on to the next of many hundreds of projects we have left. One down though. So, that's a good sign. <sighs> a big thing about our place around here, there is a lot of junk. And we have three buildings that you basically can't get anything in because there's so much junk in them. This being one of them. We're gonna get working on clearing some of the crap out of here and see if we can get this building back into use. All right, we'll do a little before and after here quick. Just a lot of wire and belts and that kind of thing. All right, I'll be back once this is done. Well, it's been about two hours. I've got this side basically cleared out now. I got up here all cleaned out. 
half of cleaning stuff out, the hard part is just figuring out places to put the stuff you want to keep and not just pile it up on the side, you know, like stuff over here is. Because then that's when it just gets messy. So I'm gonna keep loading stuff up on the dump truck and finding stuff to put up here. We're getting there one step at a time. All right, holy cow. This took me four days. But I finally got it done. My brother helped for two days or so. And then the rest was me and the skid loader. I took out 13 and a half skid loader buckets of dirt off this floor. So the next project is this shit. Clean out the inside of it, tear down the building. Basically my project on the junk is this trailer house has been here ever since I've been alive and these trees. I want to get all that stuff down so then from the road it'll look really nice. Today is the day I'm gonna get those trees cut down against the big machine shed. I'm gonna get the building, the little summer kitchen cleaned out and tore down. And the bulldozer guys should be coming next week to get rid of these piles here. We're gonna make the driveway wider, flat. It's gonna be awesome. And then I'm gonna be picking up some more steel. I probably won't get all this stuff done today, but that's what we're gonna to try to do. So right now I'm in the summer kitchen shed. There's this stuff on the back wall here. Basically I'm just gonna pitch it outside, drive the dump truck up, throw it on. And then this building is gonna be torn down. I might get this done today, I might not, we'll see. You always think you can get more done than you do, but it's part of the game. All right, I'm gonna get to it, it's hot in here. I have been doing a really bad job of recording lately. So what I've been doing today is just moving all of the items that I want to keep, whether cool collectibles or straight iron or that kind of thing, get it out of the way. Because what we have coming is a guy with a big front loader, and he's going to get rid of all our burn-up combines, all of our old dump trucks and trucks that don't run, and fertilizer trucks, boom trucks, concrete truck, all the drums. We have like seven big fertilizer tanks. I just can't move with the skid loader, so I'm gonna put have him do that. <clears throat> we made a deal with him, and then we got a bulldozer coming to make the driveway wider, flat, and then where the old hog nursery and stuff is, that's all gonna be leveled out as well. So I got a bunch of crap I gotta get moved so they don't run it over or it's not in their way. So I've been doing that, it's coming along. It's one of those things that looks worse as I'm doing it, but then once it's done, it'll be worth it. All right, this is the spot I've been cleaning up. This used to be about shoulder high worth of steel. All the way through here. These are the cylinders I was talking about. There's six of them right here. And then there's one hidden behind that protein tank. Those will be gone. And then around this bend, I want to have clean. And then back here will be a little bit of a project, but shouldn't be too bad. I've got the bulk of a lot of what needed to be done, done. The bulldozer is going to come back there on those on that side and flatten all that out. And we'll probably have them take out these trees as well. Things are finally starting to shape up.
Since I did such a wonderful job of explaining exactly what I did last year, let's get you guys caught up. Okay, so behind me we got the driveway. We took it from being 25 feet wide to being over 60 feet wide. This thing is now stinking awesome. Out here where this hayfield is right now, we used to have 80 semi loads of dirt just sitting there. They were stacked about six feet high and they had weeds and trees growing all over them. So we took that dirt, pushed it onto the driveway, leveled out the driveway, brought it up right in this area about three feet, made it super functional. It cleaned out that area. This little triangle right here, it actually used to be shoulder high with scrap metal. But I got all that picked up when I did the south side of the big machine shed. So I'm gonna toss in a couple before and after pictures of when we did this stuff. I In the next video, I'm gonna show you everything we've been doing back in the auger graveyard, but I don't wanna spoil it in this one, so you guys are gonna to have to wait for the next video to come out. Don't you just love it when I make you guys wait? So down here, we had the corn crib right there behind that flatbed trailer. We tore that down. And then we had the summer kitchen, which is sitting right here. I tore that down. Then there was a bunch of concrete pads behind it. We ripped those out. And then down where all those augers are sitting was where we had our old hog feedlot and such. So we ended up burying all that. So basically right under that crushed up tank, that's where that entire thing is buried. And we ripped out all those trees. Soon this will all be cleaned up and then we'll be able to pull our field from over there up closer. So I never really said what happened to the south side of the big machine shed. Well, I have a crushed up dryer here on the ground at the moment, but other than that, it's 99% cleaned up. I hauled 150,000, yes, I repeat, 150,000 pounds scrap metal solely off this side of the big machine shed. You could say I pretty much lived in that red dump truck for a good half of the summer. Let me tell you what, guys, I am so, so, so excited to be getting this junk cleaned up. Very soon, we are going to have a junk-free farm here on Cornstar Farms, and I am so ecstatic for that because it's so much easier to work. We have so much more room to do things. In the next video, I'm going to be going over my future plans for what I have from cleaning up all this stuff, as well as stuff that we've been doing here this summer. We've been getting a ton done, and I think you guys are going to be kicking yourself if you don't subscribe, if you don't stay tuned for the future episodes. With that being said, if you guys like the video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Just smash the like button. If you have any questions, write it down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you're probably going to miss out on the fun and the cool and the crazy change that we have here on the farm. It's just going to get better from here, guys. We're just going up, raising the roof. Yeah. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.